one. I'll thank you, Senator <laughs> Davey. Senator Rennick. Okay, thank you. Uh, my questions are regarding the Eastern Agriculture, uh, Australian Agriculture Buyback, uh, Mr Metcalf. Um, I just want to quote a part of the actual valuation by Colliers. In, um, they summarise uh, in one part of the valuation, they go, the Lower Boulogne region as a water market does not have a mature trading market as the water rights are predominantly unsupplemented allocations, which are not traded as often or as easily as supplemented allocations. Um, secondly, the volume of water in the system is not large enough to see a reasonable turnover within the market. Um, with regards to the overland flood, uh, flood runoff licences, there is no true market as trading is limited to, to sales only to the Commonwealth. Now, to me, that tells me that the market, the water market around the Lower Boulogne and in the Condamine is illiquid. It's not, you often hear people say, you know, liquid markets, liquidity is very important for true price discovery. It's fair to say that if you're going to have the Commonwealth step in to where you've got a liquid market, a big buyer with, and I'll quote uh, further on in the, uh, the valuation, it says, land is not a limiting resource in the lower basin, however, water is. So we know that water is fixed, the amount of supply is fixed, but the demand when the Commonwealth goes in is going to push the price up a lot, isn't it? Would you agree with that, Mr Metcalf? Uh, I think I'd agree with that, um, um, uh, Senator. I, I think that your characterisation that this was not just like buying something off the stock market where there's a lot That's of exactly it. That's exactly right. Uh, that yeah. it was a, a, a quite rare and individual um, thing that was being purchased. So. Yeah. I think and also, it's Senator, your statement goes to all markets where there's intervention. Um, yeah, exactly. It affects and impacts That's the market. That's exactly right. And if we go back to the valuation, is it the paragraph here says... Sorry, Senator, which page? Could we just ask uh, so which page? This is page on you? page 15. Thank you. you. Okay. Uh, well, well, actually, I'm, reading, I'm about to read the value of this position now, Senator Patrick. The market sentiment is considered to be improving, and for many of the above properties, if offered on the market today, an improvement in value could be anticipated. By our estimate, value. Senator Patrick, by our estimate, this may range from only 10 per cent to as high as 30 per cent. Now, we've paid the mid-range above the uh, anticipated increase in market value by 20 per cent. Is that correct? On page, that's, this that, is on page that, 15. That is, the, that is correct, and the overall finding is that the price the department paid for water entitlements was equal to or less than the maximum price determined by the valuation. Yeah, that's exactly right. Now, interestingly enough, in the letter to Senator Patrick from the Auditor General, it says, at the time of the audit, the ANO considered the department's utilisation of the report reasonable. Now, that's reasonable. Now, now why the, why the uh, valuer decided to value, you know, have a reconsider it after the event, I don't know. Um, but I think, would it be reasonable if you've given a valuation to act on it at the time you're given the valuation, and not for the valuer to then come back later on and change his mind? I mean, you guys could only act on what you're given. Senator Patrick, okay. the questions are from the senators to the well, he's, he's department. An erroneous question. And well, well, that would, sorry. The, the Senator Patrick, you don't get to decide what's right <laughs> and wrong here, OK? All so, OK. Not thank you. Let's, okay. let's do that. Yeah. Well, it's erroneous so, in fact. <laughs> uh, Senator Patrick, no more from anyone. you don't have the call. Um, so if the department would like to take that question, and then we can... Oh, Senator, it is the case that at the time of the purchase, the department relied on the written valuation report that, that you've spoken to there. And, and one of the ways you value properties, you do it on a net present value discounted method. So, for example, if you want to do future cash flows. Um, yeah, well, actually, Senator Patrick, I'm the one here with 30 years in finance, so I don't tell you how to drive submarines. Don't tell me how to do valuations, right? OK, so uh, since then, OK. Is it not fair to say that the discount rate, i.e. the RBA rate, has reduced dramatically and land values and water values would have increased dramatically since 2017? Yeah, I think the best way for me to answer this, uh, Senator, um, 
uh, is that, uh, you know, my general knowledge is that land values have increased in many areas, but not necessarily all. Um, um, but uh, as I said to Senator Patrick and uh, Senator O'Neill earlier, um, effectively the people who've looked most closely at this issue is the Australian National Audit Office, and, and uh, I'll obviously be taking careful note of what they have to say. Yeah, uh, and I can vouch for that, because I put an offer in on the uh, uh, offer for a bit of land just off the Condamine River back in April 2017 for $2,200 an acre. It's now worth almost $4,000 uh, an acre. So it's gone up a lot since 2017. I should, I should also add, just to conclude, as a concluding comment that the uh, the river doesn't flow, the Condamine doesn't flow in a northwesterly direction until reaching Condamine. It flows in a northwesterly direction until it reaches Chinchilla, and specifically a place called Lanky's Bend, uh, which just happened to be my family property where my first dog and my first horse is buried. So I know this land very, very well, and it is as scarce as hen's teeth. And if you want to buy land or water in that basin, you need to wait for someone to A, die, or B, pay well over the market for it. Thank you.